the ingredients in our bodies were assembled in the hearts of long dead stars over billions of years and have assembled themselves spontaneously into temporary structures that can think and feel and explore. The carbon atoms in our body, they all got made in stars because there were none of it at the Big Bang. There's only hydrogen and helium. And so it was all made in stars. And it's probably from different stars. You know, the, the atoms in your body, they're not all from one star that cooked it and then died. There'll be a mixture of stuff from many stars. And then those structures will decay away again at some point. And in the very far future, there'll be no structures left. So, so there we are, we exist in this little window when we can observe this magnificent universe. We don't know all the answers, so we don't know where the laws of nature came from. We don't know why the universe began in the way that it did, uh, if indeed it had a beginning. We don't know why that was. So we will probably find out at some point, and it'll be something to do with the laws of nature. We, you know, we understand nuclear physics. We can build nuclear reactors, for example. So we understand the physics of stars. So we, we understand that the stars built the carbon and oxygen, and we know how they did it. And um, we can see it. And if you look far out into the universe, you're looking way back in time. And as you look back in time, you see less carbon and less oxygen. So we have a direct observation that in the earliest universe there wasn't any because <laughs> we can see it and now we see that there is some and we know how it was made.